Hi everybody, welcome to another Kurt tutorial. I'm Kright Man. What we're going to do this time through is we're going to model a, a character head. A um, couple of caveats before we get started. Uh, one, I'm not a modeler. I don't pretend to be. Um, I'm just not, haven't put the time into it. I would like to be at some point, but I'm not there yet. Uh, caveat number two, Carrera's not really a modeler. Um, it does a lot of things. It does them well. Uh, but it doesn't model intuitively. Um, yeah, sorry to say it, but yeah, it's true. Um, but it can model, and that's that's the whole point of this. Uh, caveat number three is the recording process is a little wonky, so if you're cool with all three of those, uh, let's go ahead and get started. First of all, what we want to do is drop a vertice into our scene, or a vertice object into our scene, and let's go ahead and jump into the modeler proper. You know, let's take a sphere. The shape of the shape is really important. Let's go ahead and take a sphere and we'll explain why as we go. Drop that in there. Excuse me. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're good to go for right now. Now, uh, come on now. Uh, like I said, this is really wonky. There we go. Um, we want to we want to use a sphere shape because it's the closest shape that we have to our head. In most modelers, what you want to do is uh, uh, take a cube and then subdivide it and then make it the shape of the head. It's it helps in mapping. That's that's the main thing. Uh, in this instance, we're use, going to use a sphere, so we're going to have to map it differently, and uh, we're not going to do that yet. We might, it might not even be part of the tutorial, but. Uh, Depends. Um, so we got our sphere in here. Uh, it's not quite head ready. What we want to do is um, let's go ahead and lose a couple of these vertices here. Let's go ahead and hit the scissors. Kapow. Knock that out. And this is going to make it a little more head shaped. Trust me. That's exactly what it's going to do. Alright, so we're good to go. Uh, we're, we're back to what we want it to look like. Now, modeling's really boring, people. I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> that's why I've kind of avoided it. All right, here we go. Uh, let's go ahead and go front, and I, honestly, the one of the reasons I haven't done this is it's just so tedious. Uh, let's go ahead and add a vertice here. Oh, actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and select all and let's go symmetry and let's add a vertice come on now we want to add a vertice because we want to cut this in half as as close as it is to spherical shape we're gonna have to bend this in some odd areas let's go ahead and add that there there and you can see where it'll go because the, it'll turn in the cursor will change into And I think, yeah, there we go. Let's go ahead and do the back. We're going to do the same thing. Advertis. Kapow. And we want to keep this in the middle. We want to keep it exactly in the middle so that when we pull it, it's not creasing on one side or the other. Kapow. All right, let's see how this works. Let's see how this looks. There we go. Cool. Now we have that little extra bit right there in the middle where the nose is going to be and where the eyes are going to start creasing. We're going to need these extra vertices in this extra space to um, make our magic. Okay, so uh, we have our sphere ready as much as we can. The, the c things that you're going to take into consideration when you're, when you're modeling a human head is uh, there are two eyes, two ears, two nostrils, and a mouth. All of those are going to need extra vertices when you get down to the nitty gritty of the modeling process. Okay, so um, we're good to go here. Let's go ahead and go globe. Let's go ahead and click the global tab. And we could do. We could have done this at the beginning, but I wanted to show you some things about with these uh, vertices. Oh, dang it! Um, we're going to have to connect some of these too. Let's go ahead and select this. 
shift and select this now we have both of these selected oh, actually this is this is a really good point to make right here um, when you're when you have symmetry on you're not exactly selecting the other uh, other vertice or other polygon or anything you are mirror you are mirroring the action of doing this uh, so you need to actually select the polygon that you want to uh, um, select if you're going to do any modeling tricks with it. Let's go ahead and turn symmetry off because we're going to need to link these uh, vertices to make to make the mesh right. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, uh, there's a modeling. There we go. Link Command Shift L is what I put in here. I think that's my. I think that's mine. But you can you can add your own. Uh, it's just going to make you, you do a lot of linking when you're modeling. Okay. Um, Command Shift L. Kapow. There we go. And select that. Shift select that. Command Shift L. Kapow. And I'm going to have to add some more stuff there. We're, we're going to have to add some more uh, uh, vertices to these middle parts, but we're not going to do that because we kind of want to get to the modeling process, get to what everybody is kind of expecting this was going to be. But it, like I said, there, there's some, uh, uh, it's really kind of a tedious process. Um, let's go ahead and go four camera view and let's go into our global tab and let's enable the front uh, at, let's just go ahead and load an image file let's go ahead and load the head front now this isn't my image this is this is another caveat that we're going to have to take into consideration this is not my image if the owner of the image tells me that I can't use this uh, then I'll have to take it off but it's a perfect image and you can find it online uh, the the uh, link should be below me so um, now let's go ahead and en enable the front and enable the back or the side I mean and see how that see how that what that did that put the image right here where you wanted it to be and what's cool about this let's go ahead and slide this over just a little oh, grr. there we go alright that's gonna have to work um, I'm not gonna get it precise while I'm recording, I don't think. Come on, baby. Yeah, we have to turn this off. And we're probably going to have to stop at this point so that we can get this straight, A, and then uh, record the rest of this process, B. Um, yeah, this is going to have to be a two-parter. Uh, that's it for this time. I'm Kripe Man, and I'll talk to you again later.